Hey everyone! Today we're gonna check out this new game called Bub's Puzzle Blast. It looks pretty cute, so let's get started. And right away, there's additional downloads. Well, eh, at least it's fast. And look at that dino! It's trapped in a bubble! And what I didn't notice the first time around, when I was first doing this tutorial, was that every stage has a goal, which is listed on the top left-hand corner, the objective. I was just focused on pop popping bubbles. I totally missed that. But apparently we were supposed to get 13 green and 15, well, I don't know, 15 green, 15 yellow. Instead, I chose to pop all the orange ones in order to bunch the bubbles up. Which, as it turns out, is not the strategy we should use. But that's what I did at first, because I thought this was just like any other bubble game. Where well, I want to pop all the same color bubbles, so I you know, end up with a huge ton of one of the other colors. But then I soon realized, oh, what you want to do is pop the bubbles with the symbols. Because apparently the more... Um, I'm just going to keep saying bubble, 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 bubble. So the more bubbles of the same color you bunch up, the more powerful the item you get. And I think the most powerful one is the rainbow. Which I will show you what the rainbow does in the next round. Next, stage one, a tutorial stage. Mission. This is when I realized, oh, there are missions. <laughs> yeah. So in this tutorial, they're trying to show you, I think, what um, special effects are. So if you, the music notes basically help you do objectives. The water drop or whatever, it's like a vertical column clear. The horizontal, you know, symbol makes a horizontal roll clear. The bombs makes a bomb, and then I think after the bomb is the rainbow. And the rainbow clears uh, all, whichever color is the most number. So the the color with the most number of bubbles of that color gets clear. But if there is a, uh, if you happen to have another item next to the rainbow, then the rainbow changes a bunch of other bubbles into items as well. I'm not sure exactly how the mechanics of that works yet, but. Basically, you just want to make sure when you use a rainbow, there's another rainbow or another item next to it and that makes it a lot better. Or even just another rainbow on somewhere else on the map. Because then both are activated. Wow. And two fire bombs, the fire symbol is bomb. Two bombs are better than one because they like multiply the string. One bomb is a small explosion, two bombs make a big explosion. I don't know if three bombs make an even bigger explosion than two. But these levels are so easy that it clears right away. We'll have plenty of chance to test it out later. So here is our first non-bubble objective, which is to clear boxes. Yes, we're already stage four. That's how fast it goes. The boxes, you have 38 moves to clear a box, which is ridiculous. I mean, I guess it's a tutorial, so you want to make sure everyone can get it. This game is rated for age 4 plus, so you know, it's on the easy side. And why didn't I pop those rainbow bubbles? That's because I still didn't realize what the heck I'm doing yet. More rainbows! Rainbow power! Oh no, and the stage ended before I could even use any of the rainbows. I think this is where I learned, use your items, don't save them up. <laughs> Tap special when they're near each other to create a more powerful explosion. Um, when two items are next to each other, the bubble they're in kind of glows a little more white. But again, I don't know if you know just two is enough, if there's three all together, if it does anything. The bubbles do shift a little, so if they're just like slightly apart, um, it doesn't work anymore, just like that. See, I just used another single item instead of the double item bonus. Wow. But, oh well. There's no way to lose at this point. Because it's 
like I said, the tutorial, they want to make sure you definitely win. Here we go. Yeah, I think even with two um, items together, it was still about the same effect as the three. So as long as you have some items touching, they'll have the multiplied effect. And now the rainbow. Bubbles of the color with the highest bubble count. That's probably more clear than whatever it is that I said earlier. And we go. <laughs> when I was playing this, I had a baby sleeping in my lap. And that's why this is taking a while to get started. Because the baby kind of woke up at this point. And the wiggling and the fighting. And that's why this channel is called Away From Kids Gaming. Because even as hard as I try, you still can't get away from kids. But, you know, away from keyboard though. But I suppose a sleeping baby is like not being away from kids. That's why these uh, kind of offline iOS Android Short, cute games are fun to play when you have, say, a child sleeping on you and you can't move. Because nothing is timed and you don't have to stress about, you know, not being able to move when you need to. It's just you and some mindless fun. <laughs> so now after that tutorial, we get a little dino and the dino needs a house or else you'll get so tired from being homeless and sleeping on the street and such. So let's build him a house. House. Although it's you no, know, it seems like a pretty nice neighborhood, so it's not like the poor dino's gonna die if it's homeless. I guess it's just that this way it doesn't get too tired and it gives you more money. I guess he's paying you rent for the house you built. So in a way, you're like a real estate tycoon on the island built for little dinos where you make them pop bubbles or I guess you're popping bubbles for them I don't know maybe bubbles are invading the land so yeah I was just checking out the notice board which takes you to their Facebook page to make you sign up for things and then the ads to make you stop paying for ads and all that kind of stuff but let's keep going with the stages because we have four hearts so if we're gonna have four hearts, we might as well use it. So you can be on cooldown while we check out all this stuff. Let's bring the stars to the clouds. That's it. That that's yeah. It's that simple. This is your first stage. That's not a tutorial, and literally, you just pop the bubbles, and that's it. All right, on to stage eight. And you get your heart back, so it's not like we're even on cooldown. Okay. Chains. What do you do about chains? In this stage, chains are like, it's not even there. Because it does absolutely nothing. It's just like having a border around the stage, which is already a border. But I guess it just introduces the concept of chains to you. Come on, use that rainbow already. Why am I not using the rainbow? Why? Because I guess I'm just trying stuff out. I'm not thinking. I'm fighting with a baby. The struggle is real. And done. So easy. And you get a heart back. On to the next one. Mission, save two check-ins. Check-ins? Those poor check-ins. Oh, let's save some check-ins. They don't even look like chickens. But I guess check-ins are like, you know, dinos in a way. The avian dinosaurs who did not go extinct. Poor check-ins. Uh, 
and since the stages are so easy, I'm just going to fast forward through the next few um, to save you time. And here we go! Ah, that music. It's always so loud in between stages. But yeah, another simple stage where the chains create a barrier between stuff, but really it doesn't matter. All you want to do is make the stars go up, so preferably you want to create a column like the water drop power right above or around the stars like that. And you're done. One more water drop and the level is finished. On to stage 11! Now stage 11 is worth talking about. This is where they introduce that rotating um, wood dealy. It does make it a lot more challenging because the bubbles are constantly shifting so if you're about to click on power, it could just go away pretty fast. So, you know, aim, move fast, especially if you see a rainbow, just click on it. Because um, things are constantly shifting. But for the first time, you know, it's pretty easy. And I have finally learned to use the rainbow instead of saving it for who knows what, because stages end so fast. And I was trying to get that rainbow next to a water drop, and I was like, eh, whatever, just do it. And now, because I moved the stars next to the boxes, it just made things more difficult. Because I can't pop them to, you know, make the boxes explode. But, still really easy. Bubbles! You probably already guessed. Anything pops next to them pops the bubbles. Music notes pop bubbles anywhere from the stage, you know. Same old deal like other bubble and puzzle type games. One of those type of areas. Fantastic. Clear. More check ins. Yay, you're free, check ins. Rainbow power! It does get more challenging. Um, the level of difficulty does ramp up slowly, but... You know, there's some interesting levels. Later on, I do actually fail at a level that's coming up for the first time ever, and I had to redo it. But again, you know, it's about looking at what the stage goal is. Don't get too bogged down with trying to get rainbows or using items or whatever. What else is there to say? Well, so far, um, I mean, it's a cute, fun game. I'm not, you know, too impressed. It's just, if you like bubble games, it's a good game. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep playing this. So if you do want me to, you know, make more videos of this particular game, go ahead and comment below or subscribe and like. And if I get enough subscribes and likes and comments, I will keep playing this game. If not, more than likely, I will move on to something else. I do like the cute characters of the dinos, the fact that you can build houses on the maps. Um, yeah, I think this is the level that I failed because I only have you know, three moves left, two moves left. I didn't realize I only had so few moves left. This is one of those cases where it's more important to pop bubbles next to the bubble. 
bubbles next to the mission bubble um, rather than trying to get as many you know powerful items as you can but still it's like 24 moves so plenty of time but this gives me a, t a chance to showcase what happens after you lose a game so you have a chance to add moves by paying money or watching an ad or just start over which in my case I think start over is a much better choice because that way we finally have a heart that's on cooldown. Because they do give you back a heart after every level, so you'll never run out if you don't lose. I th hope that this means that later levels are much harder, but so far it's all been pretty easy. And since we lost our hearts and hearts are on cooldown, we can actually check out all the stuff in town! There's lots of things you win as, uh, I guess, stage clear bonuses. Aww, cute little dino. Okay. So, under the help menu, you can see that the whole goal is to, you know, get more minions or whatever. More little characters so they can make money for you as they walk around. You can increase the level of the houses. I assume um, that would increase the amount of gold the dino that's living in that house will give you um, over time. Let's see what else to look at. For the ads part, you can pay to remove ads or permanently remove ads. Which of course the permanent one's a better deal, but why would you? Because the ads have been so terrible. So, so terrible. Like, some of the worst ads I've ever seen. I don't know if it's just bad ads are out now and I haven't played games in a while, so I'm not used to how bad the ads are, but... So here's the event that's currently going on. Run, bub, run! Depending on how many stages you clear, you get rewards. Cool. We've cleared 10 so far and that's what we get. Bounce, 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 dino. What else? Um, I do not like how the exclamation marks stay. Yeah, you have to actually click on it to collect. Cancel. Okay. I don't like how the exclamation marks stay on as long as you haven't paid them. Because then you're like, oh, what's that? Anything new? Nope. Nope. They just, they just want you to pay more money. But... Um, there it does seem to be a lot of you know different things going on in this in this game. Um, so you can earn three hearts per stage, and yes, you can go back to any stages where you missed later on. There's a shop where you can buy things because I think the dino can have all kinds of status effects, so that you can buy items to cure the dino. And more houses and farms as you save more mini runes mini runes like yeah five types of debuffs so you want to keep them satisfied so that they give you money a happy tenant is a paying tenant i guess it looks like they could be hungry or dirty or whatever Let's check out the rest of the map. In the menu, you have a bunch of different things. All the usual, you know. Um, under profile, you can change your name. Under settings, all the music and background music and um, all that kind of stuff. So you also have your daily quest. I'm missing one quest, but it looks like you have to collect all the quests. There is a receive all on the bottom. But yeah, let's destroy obstacles and all that. All I'm missing is well done. Achieve while 10 times. That should be easy enough. Stage 17, here's where another really bad ad pops up. 
And in this level, we have ice. And if you've ever played any of these kind of puzzle games, you know that, you know, like the earlier bubbles, um, you pop bubbles next to the ice to break the ice. Makes sense. Wow, there's one wow. I don't know what it takes to get a wow, but it's pretty fairly easy. As long as you have two items next to each other, it seems. So, fairly straightforward. All done already! Stage 18. I think I'm probably gonna get to 20, which is the next stage I need to get to in order for the next present. And then go back to town and um, check out what's what some of the other rest of the stuff are. Like, what's that pirate ship? Or the hot air balloon? Or the rainbow tower? What are all those things for? But as long as you use your items smartly, super easy to beat. Maybe next time. So what do you guys think? Should I keep playing this game? So far, meh. <laughs> it's fun, I know. Maybe if I keep at it, it could be fun. But so far, I'm feeling kind of meh. It is a good game to play, no, play though, if you have a kid. Because it's kind of mindless. You're achieving something still. But it doesn't require too much thinking, you know? Just how easy it is. I guess because it's really meant for little kids to play. It being rated 4 plus and all. So maybe as an adult, this is a little too easy. But I do enjoy the cute animations. Yay, more not chickens! They look so sad when they're in their cages. And this is level 20. And at the beginning of each stage, you can see how many more levels you need to unlock the next little, uh, whatever they call it, not minion, the next little character they need. Which in this case is still quite a lot, like I think 40 some stages. But after I finish this stage, that'll be it. And now check out the rest of the town. Yay! OMG. And yeah, that star just refuses to go up. It took way, way longer than it should have. That single column clear should have just pushed it up, but nope, other bubbles got in the way. And now we're back in town. Stage 20 cleared! Collected 50 diamonds. Not sure what diamonds do yet. But there is a lot of different things to buy. Houses are upgraded by stars, which you earn by clearing levels. Diamonds do something. Pick me up, so I guess that's for when your dino gets dirty. Save progress. I should probably make sure it's saved. Hmm, I see. I have to log in. Ah, no thank you. Not right now. Keep playing. I really hope you don't lose your progress if you don't save. They wouldn't do that. I'm sure it's just to get you to sign up to their Facebook. They wouldn't do that. There's the pirate ship. You can farm. I wonder what kind of things you farm. Hmm. And what's that? Hall. To build various other buildings. What other buildings could there be other than shops and homes? Oh, there is still quite a bit to figure out, huh? Gold shop. What is that bag with a happy face? I guess that's for when your dino is sad. You can use a rainbow to start the level with a rainbow, I guess. Hot air balloon, nothing happens. 
Rainbow Tower. You know what that reminds me of? That museum go round in Daniel Tiger. And that's how you know I'm a mom, because I'm forced to watch Daniel Tiger. Which is not a bad show. All things considered. They could really do with better music. Trading rewards. So that's what the pirate ship does. But what does that mean? 100 gold or meat or 150 gold? It doesn't do anything when I click on it. It probably wants you to watch an ad, but I don't want to watch an ad. But I will, for your sake. And that was a 30 second ad that you couldn't skip. But now I've gotten a meat, and the pirate ship sails away. Okay, so that's what it meant by well, no, money or meat or more money. You get one of the three, and then you wait 15 minutes before the pirate ship comes back. And then every day, um, all seven tiers are reset. And the higher the tiers, the better the present you get. That's an interesting concept. More way of making money? No. <laughs> no, it, it's, yeah, it's cool. I like the pirate ship part. If you're gonna watch ads, you wanna make it meaningful. So, you know, I, I'm willing to watch ads if it gives me something nice, especially if it's things you can build up in tiers. That's a nice concept. Um, looks like, you know, there's possibilities of the land expanding in the future. This game just came out today. Although from the descriptions of it um, in the app store, it seemed like this is a remake of something that was done before. But yeah, looks like that's it. And next time, if there is a next time, you guys better comment and tell me you want a next one. But if there is a next time, um, I like to check out what happens when you upgrade houses, uh, what farming is all about. What other buildings can be bought outside of the store and house if I upgrade the town hall? What does that rainbow tower do? Um, what else are there? Oh, see, there. In menu is where you can go to retry um, to get all the levels that you didn't get three stars in. Retry. And daily gift. So far there's four weeks you can look forward to. I assume that resets later. And settings have all the random things. I don't like to receive notifications, so I click that off. And yeah, not a bad game. Pretty cute. I especially like the design. That's it for now.